Audio, everyone. Lost to be here, back in action for more Prosecutor's Path, as we're taking on uh, a newly formed Frank Shawit, as he is Shawitting himself a new true self, as we try to figure out who killed Knightley in the mysterious prison locker room incident. Locked room incident? Mm hmm. Whoa, I guess the cat's out of the bag. A black hairy one at that. Just went flying. I'm just a friendly neighborhood witness. Are you really just a witness? I would say that you are rather suspicious. What was that? You saw something that could not have been seen from the outside of the room. How is that possible? The logic behind it is simple. Mythos Shawit, this is where you saw the body from. It would be inside workroom A, yeah. So like over here? Take that. When you discovered the body, you went inside the room where it laid. Since you saw the engraving on the ring, that is the only possibility. <laughs> Even if I saw that, you ain't got no evidence, do you? Where's the evidence that shows that I was in that room? I was groom pets that at the time. In the room adjacent to where the body was found. I even went so far as to borrow some rubber gloves. Show me the evidence that proves I was in the room where the body was found. Probably here. Covered in blood and that. I think it's because the way the glove is, that would be the case. So if the glove fits, you must acquit. Mr. Shewitt, what were you doing when the body was discovered? Didn't I tell you already? I was practicing being a groomer. I see. In that case, do you happen to recognize this glove? Oh, that's... This was found near the body. It's believed to have been dropped by the culprit. By the way, I noticed that you also have a rubber glove hanging out of your apron pocket. N no, that is uh, something else. <laughs> Hold it. Looks like you're missing one of your gloves. You, you, you can find gloves like these anywhere in the prison. Your evidence proves nothing. Hmm. Perhaps we should hand this glove over to the police for fingerprinting. I'm certain they would find some interesting results. <laughs> it's over. Objection. Oh? What the? <laughs> Pretty cool, right? My ejection voice. Mr. Shields, could you save the jokes for later? I'm not joking, because it's not over yet. There's still something else. Something that's clearly odd. That guy's a prisoner, you know? He's got the bracelet and all. That's right! How did he get into that other room? The sensor would have set off the alarm, right? He's right. The only thing we don't know yet. Not so fast, Mr. Prisoner. Could you fill us in? That's pretty weird. The prisoner should have uh, been his last line of defense. Defense? That's right, Kay. It was useful evidence for Mr. Prisoner here. He could have claimed that because of the bracelet. He wasn't able to enter the room. But he didn't say a word about it. Is there any reason why you didn't? That silent treatment, eh? Well, the judge yesterday did say the silence is golden. Wow! You really are a hotshot defense attorney, Mr. Shields. Defense attorneys always remain calm in a pinch and smile in the face of danger. And that's what your old man taught me. 
The defense attorney is Creed, yeah? But what's the deal? Why didn't you mention anything about the price? And the truth is, it's broken. Broken. Some time ago, I took a spill and the bracelet hit the floor with a loud bang. Ever since then, it has been able... It has not been able to activate the sensor. Forgive me. <laughs> it was so inconvenient. I didn't want to report it. I see. So the bracelet was broken. Did it really break so easily? If that is true, then there's a problem with the prison security. You! Over there! May I have a moment? Here, kitty kitty, you're such a cute little guy as you are, Mio. Excuse me? Y -y -y yes What can I do for you, Mio? This prisoner's bracelet appears to be broken. What? Really? That's not good at all. I'll contact the person in charge and have it replaced immediately. Thank you. I'll be holding on to the broken uh, bracelet for the time being. The time this is broken, it did not respond to the door sensor. Yes, sir. Please just uh, take care of it. Now that the bracelet's been taken care of, shall we move on uh, to arresting you for murder? What? There's the thought. I, I didn't kill anyone. But your bracelet was broken, right? Doesn't that mean you could have gone anywhere you wanted during the animal show? But all I did was find the body, honest. It's true that I saw the dog biting his neck. However, I entered the workroom after the dog had left. Why did you do that? Well, it was just... I was curious if he had anything of value on him. But he was planning to loot the corpse. That's why he remembers Knightley's ring so well. Why are you looking at me, Mr. Edgeworth? I am a great thief. Please don't put me in the same level as him. But I needed to take a thing. The animal show had ended and the other prisoners were making their way down uh, back here. I hurried back to my workroom and let out a scream to deceive the others. And that's when you dropped your uh, rubber glove. Okay. I guess his story holds up. What do you think, Miles? Whether he is the murderer or not, one big question remains. How did Knightley get all the way from his holding cell to the prison? You're right about that. It's a real stupor. And there's something Mr. Schwartz said in his testimony that I'm very concerned about. That dog had any part in the murder. Mr. Schwartz. <laughs> yes, what is it? Uh, were there any other prisoners who didn't see the animal show? Yes, there was only one other eye that I know of. And this person wouldn't have been able to see the show, even if he wanted to, correct? <laughs> yes, that's correct. Why do you ask? As I thought. I had my suspicions as soon as I saw that black dog. That fiend is credible. I never expected him to be held here in this prison. Where is his cell? Uh, do you intend to meet him? Him? Who's him? He's a very special man. He receives very special treatment, and... Uh... Oh, uh, forgive me. I need to watch what I say about him. However, uh, if you value your lives, I would advise you stay away from him. Hey, come out already! You're giving me the creeps! <laughs> a puppet mask in the shadows, huh? Yeah, I still value my life. He is being held in a special cell. Over there, in that direction. I see. Is that a little piggy, a little oink oink? 
a special cell. It certainly seems like he receives special treatment. Okay. Well, so just who is this him anyway? To protect my own life, all I could tell you is that he is the oldest prisoner here. My deepest apologies, but I can't say any more. It's truly terrifying. Wait, it couldn't be Tree Man, could it? Care to fill me in? It feels like you're leaving Uncle Ray behind here. He is someone I knew in the past. Let's head for the special cell. I believe that black dog should be there as well. Okay. Can we talk to Kay about things? The special cell. We don't really need to go about that. Can we talk to you about things? Damn, I can't believe the truth about the bracelet is out of the bag. Seems like you still haven't realized the error of your ways. N no, sir, it's nothing at all. <laughs> Why don't you hurry toward the special cell? Let me give you some advice. Be wise not to take any more unnecessary actions. <laughs> yes, sir. I'll take it into heart. As if I need to hear that. Also be wise not to say any more unnecessary words. Okay, let's talk to you. Oh, god dang it. I did not want to talk about the monkeys. No, 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 I don't need to examine Munkos. God dang it! No. Fuck. Who would have guessed that the bracelet was broken? I thought the security here was supposed to be tight. When I saw all those animals roaming around freely, I knew that something was amiss. At the very least, as long as that person is here. That person that the inmate mentioned? Well, let's hurry up and head to the special cell. That black dog might be there. We should proceed with caution. Okay. Look at this cool that he says something different. Special cell is actually over here. Ooh. March 28th. 12.41 p.m. Prison. Special cell. Hey, it's pitch black in here! Can't see a thing at all! Aren't you always talking about how the Yagatarasu is able to flap even in the darkest nights? Even in the depths of the night, when no other bird dares to take flight! One alone, source to shine, the light of righteousness on the world's pipe! And that one is me, for I am the great thief Yatakarasu! Oh, that was pretty cool! But still, I can't see what I can't see. I'm still just a human. Ah! Ah! Mr. Edgeworth, I presume? That voice. It only be. It has been far too long. So you still remember me? <laughs> it would be impossible to forget because it was you who did what none could do and placed me here in this cell. Um, don't tell me that dog is talking to you, Mr. Edgeworth. Is there someone else in there? Uh, I can't see a thing. Uh, I can see anything, though. Down, boy. It's rude to frighten the visitors. Here, allow me to illuminate this dark room. Wait, who was that guy? <laughs> this noisy visitors. From the voices and footsteps, two more in the back. But it would be rude not to introduce myself. I am called uh, Sahan Dog. Miss Edgeworth and I, uh, we are old acquaintances. <laughs> this man is a former assassin. The blind assassin. The Han Doggin. His weapons are sharp knives and a ferocious dog. 
His appearance is always accompanied by the sound of a bell. It's said that the ringing of this bell in the darkness is the last sound his victims hear. Would you be so, uh, so kind as to share the reason why you've come, Mr. Edgeworth? That will not be necessary. You're already well aware of why we're here. <laughs> it seems we know each other quite well. Huh? the puppy doll! Look at the puppy! He's just right there! I love it! Very well. Hmm? As the flower of death blooms, your request has been accepted. What? That doesn't have such a sinister meaning behind it. He just, he just lick him. He lick him good. I love that so much. I suspect your dog of committing the murder. The witness who discovered the body saw him biting it. There must be some mistake. My boy is obedient. He would never do such a thing. Right, Anubis? Good boy, good boy, good boy. Anubis may be your guide dog, but you raised him to be a ferocious killer. It was one of the weapons you used as an assassin. To begin with, uh, is that witness of yours a reliable sort? <sighs> it's true that Shawit also one the suspects. It's difficult to say if we can trust his testimony. His thing reads his boss! It's B055, I love that. In any case, I think you have the wrong dog, right, Anubis? Right, boy? I wonder, he knows who the witness is. The alibi? I would like to hear your alibi from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. yesterday morning. During the animal show? <laughs> I was in my humble cell the entire time. I took my whittling r recently. I know, oh, I took up whittling recently. My focus was solely on the wood. Just, just hold my hands. Prisoners have free access to chisels here. Humble, oh, that's not allowed. The one is a kind soul. He has given me special permission. Kind? Ridiculous. Even five metal chisels would become deadly in weapons in his hands. I started out by uh, carving these uh, Buddha statues, but I moved on to other shapes after the 674th. Really? That many? All it takes is time, which I have plenty of. Here is what I am working on now. Did not know that you played chess. You play as well, Miss Edgeworth. I would like to test your wits in a game sometime. I only started playing since my arrival here, so I am still inexperienced. Hmm? What is this piece? The three-headed dog? Just for the fun of it, I carved this hound piece. Just as a game of war. Pawns, knights, castles. Each side pushing their forces to the limits to take the life of the enemy's king. However, I find the absence of dogs to be strange. Hounds are an indispensable part of warfare. But it is nothing more than folly. I still play by all the normal rules of jest. Is it difficult for you to find opponents here in prison? I always play correspondence chest. Correspondence chess. So you play chess through the mail? Prisoners are allowed to send and receive letters, although they are subject to inspection. At the moment, I am waiting for my opponent's next move. I do find correspondence chess to be a very interesting thing, because it's just like internet chess, effectively, but incredibly slow. So he plays chess with people outside of this prison. Hmm, who could know the outside of the prison? Do you know who was murdered? It was Horace Knightley. 
I'm most unfortunate, lad. He is as sharp as ever. And all I can rely on. As I thought. I have a full... He has full knowledge of everything that goes on in this prison. On second thought, uh, you might be fortunate after all. Fortunate? How so? He committed a grave crime, and he was able to avoid punishment for it. An assassination attempt on the president? Old man. Assassination attempt? Hey, Mr. Edgeworth! Didn't Mr. Matley just... He may have killed his own of superior, but he never attempted to take the president's life. Are they trying to conceal the fact that the assassination was staged by the president? Whoa, whoa, hold your horses! Knightley didn't attack the president? But Uncle Rain was requested to defend him in court on charges of attempted assassination. <laughs> you didn't know either, Uncle Rain? But they're trying to pin the whole thing on Mr. Knightley. Now I see why the PIC is taking action. Ah, oh, so that's why they removed you from the case. That the best, the best guy was going to in, indicate him on charges of attempted assassination. In doing so, they would have uh, twisted the truth. <laughs> I suspected it was a false charge. I heard about it from one of the guards. Not nightly. He get dis desperately insisting I didn't assassinate anyone. But the courts are supposed to bring the truth to light. I may not be well versed in law, but I could say one thing for certain. Some of the prisoners here were convicted on false charges. <laughs> That's the reality of it. Right, Anubis? Right, boy. Leaving the truth in the care of the court can be dangerous. Leaving the truth in the care of the court is dangerous, huh? There was someone who said the exact same thing before. An investigator from Interpol who doesn't trust prosecutors. You're twisting the truth behind those closed courtroom doors, too, are you? Fooled by those ideas. Is it any wonder that courts produce nothing but falsities and lies? Rest assured, the next time we meet, I won't be so forgiven. I doubt his distrust has cleared up completely. <laughs> you feel the same way, don't you, Nubis? The truth of the court and Mr. Edgeworth's reasoning both can be trusted, right? <laughs> There's nothing to be upset about. You're not the only one who suspects me. Yesterday, the other prosecutor and that judge came here, too. They brought the warden belong. Now they despise me. Oh, it must have been those two rude people from before. Prosecutor the best. And Judge Courtney. They thoroughly inspected my room and left without finding a thing. <laughs> it seems they were searching for the murder weapon. It's a shame. They searched the other prisoners' cells too, not just mine. Yet they were still unable to find anything. All that hard work was for naught. <laughs> So no murder weapon, eh? <laughs> this is quite a problem. What should we do? Uh, Shawit's testimony alone won't hold up. In order to confront him, we'll need evidence. Now, if my guests would be so kind as to leave. Right, Anubis? Show them the way out. Uh, does that mean <laughs> what I think it means? <laughs> Let's get going, Mr. Edgeworth! <laughs> Shall meet again, Doggin. It would be a shame for our long-awaited reunion to end so soon. I'll be waiting. <laughs>
March 28th, 1.12 p.m. Prison. The hallway. Now then, we still need to find the murder weapon. Mr. Edgeworth! Went all the way up there. It's fine now, okay? Come down from there. <laughs> that was such a nice animation. Where's Mr. Shields? Beats me. He just took off running like death I was after him. Good grief, that man. What should we do now, Mr. Edgeworth? We'll continue inv investigating. First, we should start by solving that one mystery. Nightly's body was found in the workroom inside the prison. However, he was supposed to be in the detention center just holding so. How did he get into the prison under such tight security? Let's go investigate the holding cell at the detention center. That was where Mr. Knightley was held, right? But what about Uncle Ray? Let's just leave him be for now. Oh, you're supposed to be his assistants, though. March 28th, 1.34 p.m. Detention center. Hallway. The victim's cell in the detention center was this way. Let's check it out, Mr. Edgeworth. This is truly just dreadful! What happened? That's the warden, Miss Roland. She must have come from beyond behind the no entry side. So he still won't talk? Even after all the trouble you went through to get the evidence transferred from the precinct? That's right! I don't know how many times I've tried! Can't report back empty-handed. That assassin sure is one tough cookie, huh? Did he just say assassin? Oh my. Pardon me, but... Were you talking about Sir Han... Uh, Dogen? Just now? Oh, eavesdropping, were you? You naughty boy! Did you question him personally, Warden Roland? Not just him, I try to have a heart-to-heart -heart with all the prisoners and suspects. In my home, we're all family here. It's only fair I invite them to my warden's office. The warden's office? Oh, have you taken an interest in my room as well? It's just down this hallway, but outside, uh, outside is I'm not allowed past this point. Down the hallway, so around here. <laughs> it's such a lovely room. People do so enjoy being invited back there. I always show them the splendid view of my precious courtyard. The courtyard uh, of this animal-filled prison? I'm sure... I'd sure love to see it. I see. I'm delighted that you want to see it. However, I cannot invite you. What? You're not a child of our home. If you want to come to my room, you ought to be convicted first. It's a rather high hurdle to clear. Goodness me! Look at how long we've been talking! I was just about to feed Allie her lunch. Allie? She is my favorite little angel. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be out of the courtyard. Toodaloo! Never got a chance to ask her about Dogen. Well, let's head over to Nightly Cell. March 28th, 1.43 p.m. Detention Center. Holding Cell. This is the victim's cell. When did Mr. Nightly arrive in here again? It was after the President's uh, welcoming ceremony. On the night of March 25th. Well, when and how did he move over to the prison? 
There might be some evidence left that can answer that. Alrighty, let's get cracking, Mr. Edgeworth. And we will begin our investigation of the detention center holding cell next time. So then, the, thank you all for watching. And hopefully, we'll figure out some interesting things next time. Till then, sayonara. Bye-bye.